Hi everyone, I just thought I'd make a very quick noob guide on how to get into mining uh, when you're brand new to the game. Um, so far I've not made that much money by doing it alone. Uh, when I've done it with a friend we've, uh, we've, we've made good profit. But um, the first thing you want to do is head to a space station with a refinery. These are normally the great big sprawling things like this. And what we're going to do quickly is land and then go to uh, the refinery and hire a mining vessel. So as you probably already know, uh, we press F1 when we're close enough, go to uh, contacts, friends, and ask for permission to land. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Fantastic, there we go. Okay, so we're at the lobby, so we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping, go to the terminal. And we are going to park our ship. There we go, parked. Right now, we need to find the elevators to get down to the refinery. Yep, so they'll normally look like this. So elevators, uh, one either side. Normally next to the easy hab, what I've found so far anyway. And that lift worked, that's good. So we need to go to the refinery. This might take a minute because it's a long, long way. Here we are. So uh, now what we need to do is turn left or right, depending on which one you get out of. And we're gonna head along to the, uh, the shops area. Now, if I'm mumbling a bit, it's because I've not written a script for this. I'm just doing what I would ordinarily do. So in the downstairs shop, in the back corner here, there are two terminals. Hey, Click the terminal. Welcome. Uh, we find the uh, all right? MISC prospector. Um, so that is uh, 52,000 credits for the day. Rent ship. Ooh, fantastic. Right, so now we're going to head back up to where we landed our ship. Right, so now we're at the console, we should now see the MISC prospector and we've got 23 hours and 58 minutes left on it. So what we're going to do, what we are going to do, sorry, is we're going to retrieve it. And then we're going to head to pad 4. Right. Quick check that we've got our helmet on, because that's one that gets me all the time. Oh look, someone's parked a, a mole there. That's a big one. So that's a big version of that one. So that's got three people can sit in there. And it's a pain in the arse. But fun. Especially if you've got three friends. So get into your ship. Make it flight ready. Hello, how can this help you today? The size of this mole. Right. So uh, the ship I'm in at the moment, it will be way less responsive than anything else that you've got, especially if you with your starting ships. So all we're going to do is head out into. Oh. Yep. So we're going to head out into the mining field. Well, it's probably just all crap, but. Thank you. And please visit again. Off we go. So all we're going to do is fly into the uh, asteroid field. There's not going to be anything of real use here, I don't think. And uh, we're going to uh, hold down... Uh, well, we're going to press tab. That brings up your scanning reticle. Hold down the right mouse button and let go. Okay. And then you're going to see a square come up. Oh, cube. Okay, then we're just going to head towards where we've uh, seen the cube. Keep scanning. Boop. Right, so we found a, a uh, asteroid that works because it's got the um, it's got the coloured outline around it. So we get close enough, and we press M to bring up the mining tool, which then scans the asteroid for you. On the right hand side, it tells you what's inside it. So um, the percentages-wise, it's not something that I'm going to be 
covering on this because I don't know enough about it, but I just want to get people so they can mine, and if they're just going to mine a load of rubbish. I know that you don't want too much inert material, but as you can see on this, it's got quite a, quite a lot of uh, stuff in it. So what we do is we press the um, press the left mouse button to start mining and gradually increase the laser intensity. Okay, so on the left hand side, you can see where it says optimal. So that's the distance, and we just gradually increase it until it start, we get, start getting some charge level movement on the right hand side. Now you'll see it start going upwards. Something I've noticed, and I'm not sure if it's a thing, is that it's different areas of the asteroid make the charge go up quicker. So if you move it around a bit, it normally makes it uh, rise quicker. Until you find somewhere that's uh, useful. So now we're charging the green area. As the green area goes up, it'll go into the red, and if you go into the red, that overcharges it. So when it does go, it'll explode. So what you want to do is gradually throttle back using your mouse wheel and take the, uh, the power off the laser. Not too much, because it'll drop out of the green. Okay, so here we go. That's it cracked. Now you need to crack it uh, one more time. But what you can do is you aim it at the... Uh, aim it at the different sections and as you can see on the right it says it's 55% gold ore so let's give this one a go and this one shouldn't take quite so much uh, power so as we gradually throttle it up you'll notice that because it's smaller it will uh, it will um, increase a lot faster okay so now we've broken up all the ones we want because the other ones that are left have got too much inert material in them what we're going to do is we're going to right click change to extraction mode and then just get it all slipped up. Now you can see on the right hand side where it says cargo, that's going up gradually and it tells you exactly what we've got in there. Right now we're in the shop, Hi. so you've got Good two. You back. Shut up. Now you've got Finding two. everything all right? Yes, we've got two options. You can refine your ore that you found, or you can sell it. Right, so we're going to have a quick look at sell it. Select location. Our prospector, which is full, and as you can see, we can get seven thousand five hundred eighty-seven credits for what's in there. Okay, so what we're going to do, we could sell it there. That's fine. See anything you like? Okay, so this is just a, there's an awful lot more in depth on this, but what we're going to do is select the prospector, we're going to refine the ore. So, as you can see, we've got uh, this much in, we're going to refine that much, so we're going to select everything. And the fact that we've only got two inert materials, these you don't want them if you can help it. And then I'm going to just the first one, Cormac method, get quote. So it's going to be done in 29 minutes and it's going to cost 546 credits to do, which is fine because ordinarily uh, when you look at refined ore it doubles the price of it, but it just means an extra step of delivering it, which I'll also do. Because I've hired the shippers, I'll just go out and fly and get more and just keep doing the process until, my ref until there's loads of stuff in the refinery and then I can ship it all to a uh, place that I can sell it. The problem with selling um, is because we've got the... Um, the stuff in the refinery there, and I didn't split hey, it down. Again, the only Welcome. Christ, these people. The only way that we can get it to somewhere to sell, which I would normally go to Hurston, is you go to the rental place and you buy, well, you, you hire something like the Drake See Cutlass like? to uh, get you to and from, because that's the only way you're going to be able to fit all your cargo in the back. Fantastic. So now what we'll do is we go back up to the uh, hangers and habs, select the cutlass, and then we'll have a look at the back. So 
So here's the cutlass, and what we're going to do is going to go in through the back. So if you go, not get crushed. Wait for it to land properly and finish its animation because sometimes it can crush you or just do things like that. So let's walk in nice and steady. So this is all our cargo. This isn't ordinarily here. Close it. Ooh. Hopefully, it doesn't kill us because otherwise, we're uh, up the creek. Go into the front seat. Flight ready. And what I always do is turn the VTOL off on this because it's a nightmare. And off we go. Right, so here we are, we're at Hurston, and um, as I say, because I'm new, I often find it difficult to find places. But there we are, so we're going to Lawville. It's the one with the uh, sort of shield-shaped icon. So we're going to the spaceport now. So we want to go to the central business district because that's where we can sell things. Oh, it opened, fantastic. So now what we need to do is run through this door and then take a left. So we want to head to these terminals here and take a look. Uh, there's always a load of light shining on them, so it's a pain in the arse. But if you click on trade in, give it a second, go to sell, select the location, and it's going to be the Drake Cutlass Black, because that's what we've hired. And uh, see, we've got corundium and gold. Let's see how much we're going to get for the gold. So uh, for 561 units, we get 3,000. 590 sell gold got it and the corundium we're going to get 3900 There we go, so if we look at my um, money now, yeah, so we, we've still not made our money back yet, but if you enjoy doing that, then it's a good way of um, getting a little bit of money, but also it's sort of, uh, it's nice and relaxing, passes the time, and you can listen to an audio book or something while you're doing it. Um, yeah, it, it's it's not the best way to make money, but f for, the, uh, for the experience, and especially if you start finding more expensive ore, then it's uh, you know it's, it's it's all part of the fun. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope it's been useful. If there's anything that you want to know extra or something I've missed, please put it in the comments at the bottom. Please give me a like. I don't know why I need to ask that. Um, it's just what people say at the end of videos like this. And also uh, yeah, just subscribe because uh, I'm going to be putting more content out like this that's uh, hopefully easy to follow and not too in depth, but just enough to get you going. All right, thank you very much. And what a beautiful game it is.